All right, y'all, this is episode two, episode two, and we're going to get into it today, man. 75 million Americans are crazy. That's white and black and Chinese and Mexican. All the people that voted for Donald Trump has got to be crazy. Either you don't know American history or you just don't know because a lot of y'all are voting against your own interests, literally. You know what I mean? We're going to get into one topic where uh, this knocks off Trump's conspiracy saying that he won the election. Oh my God. Look, Trump owned appointees. He appointed three Supreme Court judges. None of them was even with any of his conspiracy. They rejected it, that whole thing at the Supreme Court. Minus 70 lower courts all declined to even hear it because they said it was whack. They even dream about Trump winning the election. Think about this. Four of those states are Republican that certified the election. These are Republican, Republican states, okay, that certified the election. That tells you how wacko Trump is and the people that believe that the election was stolen. Really? So now you're going to tell me that a Republican, okay, certified the election and stole the election from another Republican. That doesn't even make sense. Y'all ain't even thought about that. That's why the judges, every judge in every state rejected it. So when it went to the Supreme Court, they threw it out because it's whack. It's wacko. You have no evidence that it was voter fraud. And if and if it did, you had one or two cases, maybe even a hundred. Think about this. It's anecdotal. All of it. So if you have uh, two million people in one state, right? You got two million. Think about this. A hundred people did fraud. The Supreme Court look at that like it's, that's not a, enough to even think about over changing anything. Trump is on record calling a Republican governor trying to get him to find 11,000 votes. Now that's voter fraud. That's voter intimidation. That is voter. Trump should go to jail for that. Literally. Just that. We're not talking about the other 3,000 crimes he's done. We ain't talking about that. We're just talking about just that alone. Okay? Now, then we, we go into this issue of basically trying to overturn an election. Who does that type of shit? This ain't no banana republic. Who the fuck even thinks about shit like this? You gonna overturn an election? Really? So basically what you're saying is the votes didn't count because my, my guy didn't win. This is what you're saying. All y'all 75 million people that voted for Trump, this is what you're saying. We want to overturn it because it didn't go our way. This is a fact. And I can't even believe I'm sitting up here even saying this. I don't even know what happened. But if you just look at Trump himself, I would not even follow him. You had good good people to, to actually back. You could have backed Casey. I wouldn't agree with Pat Kasich on a lot of issues. But guess what? That's the only Republican I know other than Liz Cheney that actually stood up for democracy. He stood up. Uh, uh, Ch- Casey stood up way back in 2016 and said, oh, nah, I'm not even showing up to this dude convention. And they had it in Ohio in his own state. That tells you how, 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 how much um, uh, honor John Casey cast. Y'all had people y'all could vote for, but you didn't want them. You wanted the flat out racist. And and John Casey is the kind of person. He's a Republican. I don't agree with him. You know what I mean? On a lot of issues. But guess what? He's willing to come, sit down with you, and if he can come up with some type of agreement, he will. But if he not, he, he won't. It's simple. He and he'll come up, he'll laugh with you talk with you and try to negotiate if you can't come up with a negotiation then hey he's gonna go his way that's John Casey that's how he ruled Ohio I'm not saying I agree with him 
You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of things that he did. You know, he was with Alec. You know what I mean? But the man has honor. Okay? He has honor. And you can't take that away from him. He told y'all back then that Trump was, was no good for this country. And he wouldn't back him on nothing. And y'all, who'd y'all pick? Oh, you want to go with Trump. Why? Because Trump tells it like it is. What do you mean by that? Oh, he well, he's an outright racist. He, he uh, backed the Proud Boys on tape. On videotape. Uh, and sent them around the whole world that he backed white supremacists. Literally. And if I, I don't know if y'all haven't seen this. All y'all 75 million people, black and white, and um, um, poor whites, and all the rest of y'all that voted for Trump. Y'all seen the Confederate flag, right? That's what you, that's what you, you know what the Confederate flag means, right? That means that they don't think that black people should have been free. We actually fought a war over 200 years now behind that flag. And guess where that flag was? At the White House. In Congress. Hell, the General E. Lee didn't even do that. Wasn't crazy enough to do that. Y'all literally killed people. Killed people at the state capitol. And some of y'all got away with it. Think about that. You tried to overturn in the election and overthrow our government. Everybody that was on that capitol should be in jail right now for life. That's treason. You know what I mean? No matter how you try to paint it, you can paint it whatever color you want to. It's still going to look the way it's going to look. That's why y'all having a hard time right now trying to listen to them, them, them Senate trials. Because y'all know what y'all did was wrong. You shouldn't even be allowed to be here in America. You know, everything about you should be stripped. That's all y'all people that stormed the Capitol. All y'all police officers, CIA agents, FBI agents that was part of that. You know, a congressman that was part of that. Y'all need to be stripped of everything and thrown in jail. And that's a fact. I don't even know how y'all are sitting up there still free. You know what I mean? Because I guarantee you this. And I promise you this. Any other race. Think about this. What if Arabs. What about 10,000 Arabs stormed the Capitol? Do you know it would have been 10,000 dead Arabs? It would have been 10,000 dead Arabs. They would have killed every last one of them. I promise you that. And, 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 and the ones that they didn't kill would be in jail for life. That's a fact. That's why racism in this country is so terrible. Because it's bad in so many different levels that we can't even get into it. We can't even get into it because it's so, it's so damn disgusting. The way they got these policies and the way this system is designed. Now, if it was black people that was there... The funny thing about it, they wouldn't have killed 10,000 black people. You know how I know that? Because they wouldn't have killed 10,000 blacks. It would have been 10,000 black people that stormed the Capitol, but guess what? They would have only killed like maybe a couple hundred. And they would have arrested a whole lot more. And probably like 2,000 would have got arrested. See, that's, that's how racism is in this country. It's so devastating to the fabric of our country that we select who we want to be racist against. Like even black people get a little pass. <laughs> you know what I mean? We only gonna kill like maybe uh, three, four hundred black people. Well, we can't kill all ten thousand because then that look terrible. But but if it's Arabs, oh yeah, we kill all of them, no problem. No, but matter of fact, drop bomb on them. You know what I mean? That's what's so crazy about this country. Everybody that participated in the Capitol, okay, should be convicted and sent to jail for life. These guys are getting time served and they're letting them off. Now, let's debate, man. Let's get in this thing. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and let's get it in, man. This big rich, you know, I want to really talk about, you know what I'm saying, what I have to talk about today. Uh, this episode two on... You know, crazy white people. <laughs> I don't know how much longer the YouTube got allow me to say, but hey, I got to point it out. And I'm not saying all white people are, are like that, but a large number of y'all. Okay, we got 75 million people that voted for Trump, and we know by now Trump is crazy. Trump believe he won the election. He he thinks that the Republicans 
took the shit from him. Think about it. He look. Uh, he he contesting states that has Republicans that has large black population. Well, guess what? The black people stood up and voted. So what what, what you mad about that for? You know what I mean? There's nothing to be mad about. You lost. If you want to come back in 2024, come back. That's if you make it. If they don't put you in jail, which they're working on that, Trump. So be prepared. Big Rich. Let's talk about it. Just my opinion. I love all comments. I love you.